Texas lose? How secure do you feel right now in your role uh, leading the team? Um, I, I've got a, I've got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of confidence in myself, our staff, and our players. I think everyone here is aligned. I think you know the guys. All, I think they all feel like you know what uh, that was a 10-10 ball game going in the fourth quarter. Then um, you know that that we knew it was going to be a battle, and um, unfortunately, you know. You have if you have if you have three you know turnovers and two fourth and ones you don't get that's it's really five takeaways for a defense and so um, um, yeah the, t- the team our team will respond they always do and um, I think we, we we feel like we just have to get better. Matt, that being said, you guys are one and eleven in the last twelve games. Um, do you have any I guess fear or trepidations when it comes to your job security at this time? Are you have any concerns? Uh, I'm. If, if, if I make it about me, I'm not really the, the coach that I want to be and who I say I am. I, it's always about the players. It's always about our team. You know, we're one in three. Um, you know, with this team, um, we we uh, we've had a, some close ball games. We had a chance last night. Um, it was just sorry, it just uh, just wasn't good enough last night. So as the head coach, I'll always you know uh, stand up first and 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 uh, put it on my shoulders. But I think at at the end of the day, um, we we just uh, we're just going to keep trying to get better. What was it? Yeah, uh, I, I think you know Baker's always been a winner. He's, you know, he's he's, uh, he's uh, a talented guy that's that's made plays, took the Browns to the playoffs, and for us it was about um, bringing bring another good player in and have great competition. You know, with with uh, four quarterbacks, you know, two of those guys have gotten hurt along the way, um, and uh, you know, I think Baker will be the first to say. I'm sure when you talk to guys, you guys he wants to play better. Uh, I think he also needs some guys on offense to you know make some plays for him at times. I thought. Uh, I challenged DJ and Robbie last week. I thought they played really well last night. Um, but, uh, you know, we had some plays early on tight end wise. I think we, we could have made some catches for them and helped them out. So, um, you know, we're, we're on offense overall, you know, we, we our, our execution. I mean, at the end of the day, when you play the way we played on defense for a long parts of that game, you know, we just need the offense to to, to kind of kick in a little bit and, 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 and make some plays and, and um, just, just didn't happen last night. Is your, is your plan to continue with Baker as your starting quarterback, or will, or will you look to somebody else to give a spark? Or what is your plan moving forward? I think Baker's our quarterback. You know, we have to we have to um, you know continue to find ways to help him and then uh, help help the other guys. You know, um, uh, you know Sam's uh, Sam's not cleared right now. You know, and um, uh, you know we're just going to keep trying to get better. The bad passes. I mean, from Baker's perspective, they, they aren't really a concern to him. But are they a concern to you guys? Yeah, I, I think you know going into that game, he made that statement. I don't, you know, I don't. I'm not going to speak for him, but I mean, there was there was five last night, and I think um, at the end of the day, each one is a little bit different. But you know, what, what you are seeing is you're seeing guys when they don't win in pass rush, you're seeing them go to you know mirror and 94 and 99 last night. Two really good players with long arms. They did a nice job of mirroring the quarterback and getting their hands up. And um, you know, unfortunately, the one was an un- kind of an, a semi unblocked player in on fourth and inches. You know, so um, we have to get that. Corrected, um, they, we, you know, led to a turnover. Was, that was a 13-10 game at the time. You know, I mean, uh, that was a batted pass makes it. You know, gives them the ball at the four-yard line and a batted pass on fourth and one. So uh, they definitely hurt us in the game, and so um, we have to just continue to try to get better at it. How close is Sam Darnold? Uh, not not close right now. Not, not close right now. Is he? Been, I know he's been out there listening in on the plays. Is, when do you expect him to? Uh, not this week. Maybe, maybe he starts his window. Maybe the next week. Um, but uh, just from the doctors, that you know, he's 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 not not going to be practicing this week. Is there anything that can be done from a play calling perspective that would help with those batted passes? Um, you know, I, you know, the, the one the one that got tipped for an interception. I mean, it's a, it's a three step to DJ. I mean, he's he's open. Um, you know, we're trying to get the ball in you know our playmakers' hands. Um, so I I didn't really see anything with that. And I thought I, I thought I saw you know. Robbie running wide open on the over route last night. I thought I thought you know we had guys open. I thought the guys played fast last night outside, and um, just uh, we didn't connect on enough of those passes. Did you feel that film after the game, did you see more opportunities, especially in the second half of the lead, to run the football? Say that one more time. There's a bunch yeah, yeah. of yeah. When you looked at the film after the game, did you see more opportunities in the second half to run the football that you guys didn't take advantage of? Yeah, uh, I, I you know we need to run the football more. That being said. Uh, you, you, it's hard to run the football when you're when you're as bad as we were on third down. You know we have to fix third down. I've been saying it for a couple of weeks. It hasn't happened, so trust me. But it's, it's the football part of it, right? Like, 
you know, we ran the ball the first play, the second play, it's third and five, and then they sack us on third and five. And we, you know, then come out the next drive. So um, if we can convert and stay on the field, then I think there's a lot more ability to run the football. Um, you know, they, they were a team last night that, you know, they, they, they brought the safeties, they, 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 they ran through, they, you know, they were bringing pressure, they were, they were going to try to stop the run because that's what we do well. And to me, we have to be able to counter that um, by, by throwing them out of that. And uh, I just didn't get it done. Matt, speaking of the third downs, how much is that is just the lack of, lack of success in the early downs compared to what you guys actually do on third? Yeah, in previous weeks, yes. Last night, I mean, we had you know third and one. We had fourth and one. We had fourth and one. We had third and five. So I thought you know our our management to get to third manageable downs was was significantly better. So, um, you know, uh, it, had, it had showed up before. I don't know that it showed up necessarily as much last night. Matt, Matt from um, from a coaching standpoint, what? Is there anything you guys can do scheme-wise um, with Baker with the, with the balls being tipped at the line? I know you talked about he's got to find windows, but is there anything that from scheme-wise that coaches can do to kind of eliminate those? Or? Yeah, I think camp's done a good – that didn't show up, so we say that. But I think camp has worked really hard with those guys of the line trying to close out. You know, I think, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we had that conversation this morning. So I think uh, over the course of the next two days as we put the plan in, you know, we're facing – Quite a defense coming in this week. You know, we'll have to have uh, we'll have to have that corrected. Um, uh, you know, in terms of in terms of at the end of the day, like there's it's just always a little bit of everything, right? We need the quarterback to slide and find windows. Some of the some of the three step and RPOs got batted last night, so um, trying to find a way to push the ball down the field, you know, might help us some more. Matt, Baker's had that problem throughout his career since he's gotten the league. Is there one thing you're seeing that that he's not doing or he needs to do better at um, to stop the batted passes? Yeah, I, I just think at, at the end of the day, uh, as a quarterback, when it's three step, you just have to, you have to play on, on time. You can't be late with the football. I think a couple of those ones were just maybe an extra little false step or something that's just being a second late. And um, then when it comes down to five step and seven step drops, you know, just uh, really being good with your eyes of, of, of moving people. But uh, a lot of those happened last night in three step or in RPOs, and and uh, just making sure that you are in fact on time with your feet. Burns mentioned the fourth quarter how they wanted to close out the games better as a defense because they've, they've been playing good. Do you think that's a consequence of being on the field too long because the offense has had struggles and not spelling them as much as maybe they should be? Yeah, absolutely. I think globally, yes. I think uh, what I love about Brian and our defensive guys is, you know, that's, that's, that's a cause, but they also understand, like, you know what, like, they get the ball in the four-yard line, let's hold them to a field goal. Let's, let's make that a six-point game, not a ten-point game, right? Um, uh, you know, we go from fourth one, we don't get it. Hey, let's hold that to a field goal and make that a, a 13 point game, not a 16 point game. So um, they're playing, they're playing a lot. They're playing too much, um, and that starts early in the game, right? That's that's on the fourth and ones. No, the defensive touchdown does flip that too because they have to go out and play another series. But um, defensively, you know, we, we knew coming into this game that if we, if we played well in the fourth quarter, we'd have a chance to win the game. And um, again, they had bad field position and all those things, but you know. Guys like Shaq and them, they, they, they hold themselves to a high standard. So we're just going to keep pressing on with that and just trying to be better in the fourth quarter on defense. And I think a lot of that is how much they play earlier in the game. Matt, following up on Sheena's question on job security, have you had discussions with Dave about that? No, no. I usually talk to Dave on Mondays uh, in the afternoon, um, then on Tuesdays. Um, so I haven't had anything with that with him. What about last week? Did we talk about my job last week? No, nah, he didn't talk to me about that. We, we talked about trying to beat the Saints, and then this week it was, you know, he, he's, you know, just kind of this this week. So, um, you know, I'm not gonna talk a lot about my conversations with Dave, but uh, you know, he's he wants to win like everybody else wants to win, you know. Um, so he's he's a he's a really good owner and a good man, and <coughs> don't, don't keep doing the best I can for him. Kind of on that topic, uh, any of the colleges that have openings reached out to you? Uh, I'm not again. Not talking about that. If I'm I'm the Carolina Panther head coach, and that's it. You had another player that was at another position that was struggling the way Baker has, it seems. You might make, you make, you make a change um, to send a message or whatever. So is it different with the quarterback? Do you have to be more patient there because there's so many other pieces involved or kind of explain that process? Yeah, I think at every every position, every player is always unique. You know, it's, it really depends on what your options are. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, you know, if, if a starting right tackle is struggling or a starting left tackle, starting left guard, it's really about, you know, the competition at that position and who's there and all those things. So I do think the quarterback, you know, like always takes a little more blame than maybe um, sometimes he deserves, sometimes they don't. It is what it is. And so for me, you know, 
my process every week is I come in on Monday, I watch tape with the coaches, I meet with the players, I meet with you guys, I spend the rest of the day just, you know, dissecting what happened and also the next game. Tuesdays I usually meet with, the, you know, the quarterback and talk to them. Wednesdays we go practice. So to me right now I'm just, you know, in that same process of saying, hey, what can we do to improve on offense in general? You know, I mean, at the end of the day when we don't get a third and one or fourth and one and a fourth and one again, you know, that's, that's, that's all of us. And so we have to be better. And I just believe if we play better on offense, you know, we, we're playing pretty well on defense. We're playing pretty well on special teams. Like, you know, we're, 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 we're going to have a chance to win some games. So um, it has to get corrected. It's not, make no mistake, I'm not sitting here saying it's okay. <laughs> we got to play better on offense and score some points. Let's go at it for the fans as well. Baker said yesterday he doesn't care about the boos. How do you feel about the boos when you hear them at Bank of America Stadium? Uh, I think any, any any fan that comes, you know, I, I grew up in New York and Philly. And I mean, I think I think when fans pay their money to come here, man, they, they deserve to see good football. And they deserve to see better football than we played last night. And so um, I have, I, you know, I respect it. I have no problem with that, you know. I mean, and, uh, you know, my son's on the field with me. And I, I tell him, I say, you want the good? You got to take the good with the bad, buddy. Like, you know, if, if we play like that, that's going to happen, right? And they're going to boo me, and I get it, you know. Um, I want I want to play good football so our fans are excited and happy and I know you know I think we played good defense but I know that we want to see people want to see offense and they want to be excited and entertained and it's not happening and I get it completely get it thought we did some good things last week I thought we were going to carry it over this week didn't happen as much um, what I don't want okay what I keep trying to get the team to do is just don't press like it's 10 10 don't panic it's 13 10 don't panic don't start doing crazy stuff just keep playing Kind of like you did against the you know the Giants early on with the two fumbles, and if we just stay in the moment, and not let things affect us. So I, I think Baker has to have that attitude as the quarterback. But I, I totally get it, and I have no issue with it at all. Does Ben McAdoo's offense fit the personnel here? And if it does, what adjustments does he have to make to make it work? Yeah, I definitely think it does. I mean, again, I go back to, I go back to you know, there's, it's a it's a small play, but it's a, kind of what happened last night, right? We run double post, and Robbie runs the over route, and. You know, in my in my vision, when he calls that play, because you can see it, you know, hey, they're, they're, the way they're playing us, like, you know, we just if we just connect on that pass, it's it's down the right sideline for a 50 yard gain, and we, we 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 you know we just don't connect on it, right, for whatever reason. And so, um, I think you know Ben's adapted to, hey, we have Christian, we've been running it more and going into last night, we didn't run it as much as we wanted, but um, I think the, the issue for us is third down, and we have to fix third down. We've got to fix third down. Um, we have to stay on the field and keep our defense off the field, and so. You know, we've run it on third down. We've gone three step. I just think we have to, we have to execute it better. And Ben will be the first guy to say, like, you know, I mean, he he, he puts things on himself. He's you know, he's he's been in this chair, right? He's been an OC. He's been a head coach. He knows what it's like. Um, but, you know, I always go back and look at the plan afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey, our guys open. Like that to me, that's the job of the that's the job of the coordinator. Our guys open. You know, and then you know there are other matchups that you know are we handling key matchups, and so. To me, I, I felt like we had guys open last night. I kind of, you know, I, you guys know I kind of challenged the receiver. I thought DJ and Robbie were flying around last night. And um, uh, just, you know, for one reason or another, it's just not, it's not coming to fruition. That's the, we have to get the execution right. But uh, I, think, I think Ben's, Ben's had a good plan last night. They had a good plan. Third down, we, we have to win third down. You, know, you spoke briefly on it last night, the decision to go for it on fourth and one in your own territory early in the game. after. Reviewing the film, do you still feel comfortable with that decision as well as the play calls on fourth down later in the game? Yeah, I'll, we're going to go for fourth and one most most all the time, um, especially with our defense. The way we've been playing red zone defense, we feel like we're going to hold them to a field goal or stop them. Um, you know, we went in that game. We told the guys we were going to we were going to play to win. You know, we we're going to we faked the punt. We ran a reverse. No, I mean we we didn't execute the fake punt. Right? We we fumbled the reverse. The reverse is a touchdown. Right? So. At the end of the day, like I wanted our guys to understand, and you know, the guys on defense were right there with me, coach. We're going for it. We were going to go for them fourth and one. We liked our matchups. Um, they ran through and made a play. And the defense, you know, I said to Miles, I said, "Hey, Miles, go make me right on that decision." And the defense stopped them on fourth and one. Um, later in the game, that fourth and one, um, I, th you know, I don't think there was any choice in that one, right? I mean, it's it's we're down ten. We have one timeout left, or eight minutes, six minutes, whatever it was. Um, you know, that's a that's a. Inside zone to Christian with an RPO, they blitz the safety. Again, you know, if DJ is open, if we make that throw, we got it. We just got to throw and catch it and complete it. It gets batted down. If we hand the ball off, I think Christian, you know, can run the guy over. Um, Baker made the decision he made. You know, it's part of the play, so that's out there. We just have to. We just can't get the ball batted. Now, having Deontay Foreman on. I'm sorry, just a quick follow up. Having Deontay Foreman on the roster, um, will you take that into consideration using him on downs 
such as that or, or play calls such as that? Yeah, that, that, that one's in two minute. You know, the, the clock's running, so to substitute somebody, um, you know, doesn't make a ton of sense to us. I, I don't think any of those issues were Christian. You know, on the, for, the first fourth and one, I mean, I think Christian's as good a for, short yardage back as there is. Again, you know, I, you know, I think I think you talk to the guys on the line, they're beating themselves up a little bit right now because you can't let a guy on, on a quarterback wedge or, a, or a, you know, a, a tailback wedge, you can't let someone run through and hit the tailback in the backfield. So um, I don't I don't think I'd take Christian off in those situations. Matt, you brought up you brought up challenging the wide receivers and them reacting to it well. Who do you need to challenge this week after this past game? Uh, I think that's more of a question for me on Wednesday. You know, like, um, you know, I really try to take the next two days and be um, – be very methodical about, hey, like last week we talked a lot about four-man rushes and zone coverages and breaking on the ball. We broke on the ball and picked one off. You know I mean? You can kind of see, like last week I talked about defensive touchdowns, our second defensive touchdown. So we're challenging those guys on those things. Um, but you know, a lot of times the challenges come from the players. You know, like Brian said, we got we to finish the game in the fourth quarter on offense. You know, it, it, it's real simple. We can talk, you know, I'm with you. Like, I understand the question. They're great questions, like the play calls. The, if we're minus three, if we turn the ball over three times, we're not we're not going to be a good team like like that. Like, and we still had a chance to win it. So, to me, it's just about challenging the coaches and the players and myself and all of us. Like, let's let's go win the we won the turnover battle in one game that we won that game versus a good Saints team. So, um, we've got to we've got to just correct that in terms of people and all that. I, I probably need a little more time just to. Um, and I usually try to keep a lot of those challenges in, in house so the guys don't feel threatened and all that because. Every one of our guys is working hard. We just got to put it all together on offense. Matt, since you're playing San Francisco this week, how much did y'all look at Jimmy Garoppolo during the offseason? Um, what tipped the scale towards Baker versus him, and was it all financial? I, I, and I hope you guys understand. I just I'm not going to talk about a guy you know on another team or give you know um, under contract with another team. So um, you know, um, Jimmy's an excellent player. You know, he's got, got a lot of respect for him, and um, glad to see he's having a chance to play. But I probably can't get too much into that one. Preseason, I understand that you know the trend is to get your quarterbacks work in scrimmages like you did up in New England and stuff. Do you wish that you had played Baker more in the preseason, just in the, that kind of live game setting? Uh, no, I think I think we. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. Um, I think we did two out of the three games. I think that's you know, I mean, kind of about what most people do. If some people don't do any at all. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I, I haven't really. I mean, at the end of the day, we did what we did. Um, right now, to me, it's just about us. About us we're from where we are right now, trying to get this fixed. It's, it's a valid question, but I, I think we kind of followed what a pretty aggressive amount for compared to what most people are doing nowadays. Can we get an update on uh, Jeremy Chan? How? Yeah, I'll, prob I'll, I'll probably have that more on Wednesday. More information. I mean, it, but he he is injured. Just you know how long it is. I don't, I don't know. I want to ask about something big picture because it came out just a few hours before the game with the NFL and players union putting out basically a heads up that there would be changes to the concussion protocol this week. As a coach, how, are, how do you balance um, really players' desire to play versus their own health and safety, but even seeing that there will be some sort of action going into week five? Um, I think I think at the end of the day, you know that what I think and I said this the other day about our place here. But I think you know having independent people, having you know Dr. Gritter, having Dr. Weeks, having doctors handle that. A lot of times, like you know, you're watching the game on TV, you see someone wobble. As a coach, you can't see that on the field sometimes. So having people watch that and make those decisions, I think, is really really important. Um, I can tell you, we've had some really really good players here have have uh, head injuries and and be fine afterwards and want to go play. And Dr. Gritter say no and um, I don't want them to play. I mean, they're healthy. You only have one brain, you know. I mean, <laughs> you got two arms, you got two legs, but you got one brain, and so I want that to be protected. And um, yeah, so so I think we do a, a really nice job uh, here because I, I trust Dr. Gritter so much, and um, she's gonna she's gonna always err on the side of player health and safety. Baker has said we'll do here, then we'll do else. Baker, Baker our last one. I think Joe has one too. So. Oh, I'm Joe. Joe. <clears throat> Baker says that he's drifting in the pocket. He's creating his own pressure. It sounds like, tell me if I'm wrong, that he, the game's fast for him right now. If, the, if that's the case, has he had that kind of issue in his career? How does he slow it down? How do you fix that at this stage? Yeah, um, I, I think I think our offensive line's protecting well. We had a couple. We had a, you know we had an issue up the middle one time. I thought I think our guys that was one of our better games in terms of protection. Um, you know this is this is you know this is a different offense than he was in Cleveland. There's a little bit more you know. Run, run, play, action, two-man routes. We have a little less of that, um, um, so I can't speak too much to like in, in pure dropback. But I just think for him, it's about even that first step. You know, taking the correct first step, being in the pocket, being on rhythm, being on time. 
um, you know, we are where we are. We have to get it fixed because the, the protection is good enough that he, we, we, we can we can we can settle that down a little bit. Um, and uh, I, you know, that has to happen this week. I mean, it's it's, it's four weeks of it. Hey, I'm, you know, we're kind of waiting for it to get better. Um, we've got to protect well versus an, an elite front that we're going to face this week. The number one the one number one defense in the National Football League, and they're going to four man rush and come after us. So we have to play well up front, and and, and we just need Baker to you know settle down and. Uh, play within the scheme and, and um, play on time. So those are the things that we coach. Those are the things that we believe in, those things that he believes in. You know, I didn't, hadn't heard him say that, what you're saying. We just have to go out and do it now. So I just was going to ask about LaVisca's status and how much that hammy sort of impacted uh, maybe part of the game. Yeah, we had a, we had a lot of plays for him. You know that that it was actually pulled his other hamstring in the game. So it was it was it was, it was the one hamstring, and then that then that hamstring was the other one. So, um, you know, uh, obviously we had some stuff for him that we weren't able to get to, and that was a that was obviously a disappointment because we thought he would be a he would be a matchup guy for us in this game, and, and you know, a difference maker for us in the game, and um, him coming out. You know, you have, you have four wide outs up. Um, you have to you have to you know just you have to just kind of. Adapt as you go. I don't know yet, honestly, because I think the left the left one was not a major strain. So how bad this one is, you know, those guys are all getting MRIs and stuff today. So um, I'll have a better feel later. All right, thanks, guys.